If you're getting frustrated with all the bugs and performance issues in the iOS 26 beta, you're definitely not alone. And let's be honest, most of the new features rely on AI, which only works on iPhone 15 Pro or newer. If you're using an older model, you're likely dealing with more problems than improvements. Good news, you can safely downgrade back to iOS 18 without losing your data. In this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step iOS 26 downgrade process, how to back up, downgrade, and restore your iPhone quickly and safely. Let's get started. Welcome back to Tenorshare. To downgrade your phone, just follow four steps. Disable Find My Backup Your Data Downgrade iOS 26 Then restore your data. So now you need to deal with the Find My first. Step 1. Disable Find My iPhone First, go to Settings Apple ID, Find My, and turn off Find My iPhone. This step is important to avoid issues with activation, lock and failed restores during or after the downgrade. Then back up your data that downgrading will cause data loss. If you have iCloud Plus, you can do a full backup on iCloud, then you can restore your data directly from iCloud after the downgrade. If you don't have that much iCloud space, it's recommended to use iTunes to back up your files. It's more comprehensive and you don't need to pay for it. But you need to modify your backup files on your computer after the downgrade, so make sure your backup is fully done before the downgrade. Now after that, let's go to the downgrade part. The easiest way is to use a tool called Reiboot, which is safe and the firmware is officially supported. After downloading and opening Reiboot, select Downgrade. It automatically matches the certified firmware. Removing the risk of uncertified packages, it's much safer and error-free compared to other methods. So go ahead and download the firmware. When it's done, make sure your backup is completed before you initiate the downgrade process. Then you can start the process. Within a few minutes, your phone will be back to iOS 18. If you want to learn how to downgrade using an IPSW file, we'll show you the steps, but please note, we're not responsible for its safety or stability. Visit the IPSW.me website to locate the iOS files you want for your iPhone model, then download the file and wait for the process to complete. After this, return to iTunes or Finder, then hold the Shift key Click on Restore iPhone and select the IPSW file you downloaded. Confirm the restoration and your iPhone will downgrade to the version you downloaded. After the downgrade, your phone is back to factory settings. Let's head to the data restore process. If you backed up your data with iCloud, then you can just log into your ID and restore it. If you backed up your data with iTunes while you were using iOS 26 and now your phone is back to iOS 18, some modifications are necessary. If your phone was not detected in iTunes, reconnect it. Hold down the Win plus R keys to open the Run dialog box and type in percent user profile percent. Then go to Apple, Mobile Sync, and open the backup folder. The backup we created should be the most recent one based on the last modified time. Inside the folder, Scroll down to the bottom and find info. Open it in Notepad. Press Ctrl and F to open the search bar and search for the word product. Far down, you'll see the product version. If you downgraded from iOS 26, it should say 26. Change it into the version you downgraded to. Tap Ctrl and S to save the file. Now we can go back to iTunes and start the restore process. We can see that your phone has backed to iOS 18. Click on Restore Backup and select the backup we just modified. iTunes will start the restore process and your iPhone will restart. Once the restore is complete, your phone will be restored to its previous state. This time, all your apps, photos and other data will be restored. Even the wallpaper will be the same. And your phone will be downgraded to the version you like. And that's it, you've successfully downgraded from iOS 26 to iOS 18 without losing your data. If you hit any snags, leave a comment below, I'll try to help. And if this video helped, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech tutorials, and check out our other videos. See you next time.